welcome to the second lecture of module 2 which is on mass transfer coefficients. So, before going to this lecture let us have recap on our previous lecture. In the previous lecture we have discussed the concept of mass transfer coefficients where we have said that the mass transfer coefficient is important for the convective mass transfer and these mass transfer coefficients depends on the different systems whether it is gas phase or it is liquid phase or whether the diffusion is occurring through non diffusing B or the equimolar counter current diffusion. So, for each cases we have discussed the mass transfer coefficient and the relations among them and finally, we have calculated uh, the mass transfer coefficient for different systems and the typical values typical values of mass transfer coefficients C ends for gas phase is uh, about K C is about 10 to the power minus 2 meter per second and in case of liquid phase K L is approximately 10 to the power minus 5 meter per second. In this lecture we will consider on two topics one is dimensionless groups and the correlations for convective mass transfer coefficients. The dimensionless groups is generally important for the simplicity to represent the mass transfer coefficient and other uh, variables or physicochemical properties of the system. So, like in heat transfer, heat flux can be correlated with the heat transfer coefficient and the temperature gradient. This heat transfer coefficient which is H can be related with the national number N u which is national number the other important dimensionless term in heat transfer is the Reynolds number and Prandtl number. For experimentally obtained data under forced convection in heat transfer, the national number can be related as a function of Reynolds number and Prandtl number. The very important and useful correlations in case of heat transfer like this is known as Ditas Boelter equation. Similarly, like heat transfer two important dimensionless groups in case of mass transfer is the Serut number Serut number and other one is Smith number.
So, like in heat transfer in case of Nusselt number, we define convective heat flux divided by heat flux for conduction through a stagnant medium of thickness L for same delta T, which is equal to H delta T divided by K by L into delta T, which is equal to H L by K, K is the thermal conductivity Similarly, for mass transfer the serut number can be defined as convective mass or molar flux divided by mass or molar flux for molecular diffusion through a stagnant medium medium of thickness L under same driving force. So, in case of diffusion of of a gas phase species. through non diffusing B convective flux we can write this K G into delta P A. P A is the partial pressure difference. Now, the mass flux due to molecular diffusion is equal to we have learned in the last class d a b p t divided by R T L P B L M delta P A. So, if we substitute in the serot number definition, we will get this K G into delta P A, which is convective flux 
divided by d a b p t by r t l p b l m into delta p a is equal to k g p b l m r t l divided by d a b p t p t is the total pressure we can write k c l p b l m divided by d a b p t if we consider the transport occurs through a liquid phase and at low concentration for liquid phase at low concentration x l b m approximately equal to 1 and convective mass flux will be k l concentration gradient and the diffusive flux is equal to d a b by l delta c a. So, the serot number in this case is equal to k l delta c a divided by d a b by l into delta c a which is equal to k l small l divided by d a b. The l is the characteristic length for sphere this d is the diameter is the characteristic length for cylinder d dia is the characteristic length for flat plate distance from the leading edge say z is the characteristic length. Let us consider another important dimensionless groove in case of mass transfer which is Smith number. We know the dimensionless groove in heat transfer is Prandtl number P r which is defined as the momentum diffusivity momentum diffusivity divided by thermal diffusivity which we can write mu by rho divided by k 
thermal conductivity by rho C p which is mu C p by k. The analogous number in case of mass transfer is Smith number which is equal to the momentum diffusivity divided by the molecular diffusivity. So, which is equal to mu by rho by d a b which is equal to mu by rho d a b which we can write nu by d a b. So, this dimensionless number Serut number and Smith number, how the magnitude of these two dimensionless number varies for different systems. Let us consider a sphere of 2 centimeter dia, where the gas phase mass transfer is occurring which is flowing past through this sphere and the partial pressure of the solute is low that is P B L M log means pressure gradient by total pressure will be approximately 1. The serut number in this case will be equal to K C D P B L M by D A B as we know the mass transfer coefficient for the gas phase is in the order of 10 to the power minus 2 meter per second and the diameter is given 2 centimeter which is 2 into 10 to the power minus 2 meter and the typical values for the diffusivity is 10 to the power minus 5 meter square per second in case of gas. So, from which we can get the typical serut number is approximately 20, but Smith number for this case is equal to nu by d a b and nu which is mu by rho in the order of 10 to the power minus 5 meter square per second and this value the diffusivity 10 to the power minus 5 meter square per second. From this we can obtain Smith number is approximately equal to 1. For common gases gases these values the Prandtl number is equal to Smith number and which is equal to 1.0. For the liquid phase and for similar geometry Sherut number is equal to 
के एल डी बै डी ए हुई चीज इक्वल टू टेन टू दि पावर माइनस टू इंटू टू इंटू टेन टू दि पावर माइनस टू डिवाइडेड बै टेन टू दि पावर माइनस नाइन मीटर स्कोयर पार सेकेंड हुई चीज द डिफ्यूशन का ऑफिसियंट इन केस ऑफ द लिक्विड फेज सो फ्रॉम हियर द सेरूट नंबर इज एप्रोक्सीमेटली टू हंड्रेड एंड स्मिथ नंबर इन दिस केस is new by dab and in this case the new is 10 to the power minus 6 meter square per second divided by the diffusivity values is 10 to the power minus 9 meter square per second which leads to smith number is approximately equal to 1000 so for common liquids except liquid metals the prandtl number is in the range of greater than 10 and less than Hundred. For the same case, the Smith number is greater than four hundred and less than ten to the power four. Now let us consider another dimensionless number, which is important in case of mass transfer. The similar number in heat transfer is also exist. For heat transfer, the Stanton number. S T Stanton number the Stanton number for heat transfer we define the convective heat flux divided by heat flux due to bulk flow which is equal to h delta t divided by cp rho v Into delta T, which we can write H L by K divided by V L rho by mu into C P mu by K, which is equal to Nusl number divided by Reynolds into Fresnel. The analogous number for mass transfer is Stanton number for mass transfer. We can define the convective mass transfer mass flux. divided by flux due to bulk flow of the medium so which we can write kl delta c divided by v into delta c which we can write kl l by dab 
divided by V L rho by mu into mu by rho d a b which is we can write in terms of say root number divided by Reynolds into Smith. The another important dimensionless group in mass transfer similar to heat transfer is the packlet number. The speculate number in case of heat transfer we can define is the heat flux due to bulk flow divided by flux due to conduction due to conduction. across thickness thickness L. So, which is C p rho V delta T divided by K by L into delta T which we can divide into two groups two dimensionless group V L rho by mu into C p mu by k which is Reynolds number into Fernand number. The analogous number for mass transfer is packlet number is flux due to bulk flow of the medium divided by diffusive flux across the thickness thickness L, which we can write velocity into delta C divided by D A B by L into delta C, which we can write also in two different dimensionless term V L rho by mu into mu by rho d a b which is equal to Reynolds number into Smith number. So, these are the four important dimensionless number are important in case of mass transfer there are few more dimensionless terms are available in case of mass transfer. Now, the correlations for convective mass transfer coefficients. So, what are the objectives for this? It is to explain the concept and importance of dimensional analysis for the experimental data and to obtain a useful correlations and how to use the Buckingham method to determine dimensionless group involved for a particular systems. Correlations are required particularly for the mass transfer in turbulent flow where the mass transfer coefficient calculations is not easy from the theoretical considerations. So, we will discuss the Buckingham method to obtain the correlations. So, in this method first we have to consider 
the certain fundamental dimensions. What are those? Length, which we represent by L. Length is one fundamental dimension and which is symbolized as L and like area we can write L square, volume we can write L cube, another dimension is time, it is symbolized as T and velocity we can represent as L length per time and accelerations we can write length per time square. Another fundamental dimensions is mass which is symbolized as m like density if we consider density then it is mass per volume this is m by L q. So, we have to have this fundamental dimensions initially and then in the Buckingham method we have to identify the variables significant to a particular problem and then we have to determine the number of dimensionless groups and this number of dimensionless group may be obtained by Buckingham pi theorem. What is that? If I d is the number of dimensionless group for a particular system and there are n number of variables for that particular problem and R is the rank of dimensional matrix, then we can write I d is equal to n minus R. The number of dimensionless groups is equal to number of variables minus rank of the dimensional matrix. So, now we will talk about what is dimensional matrix and how to determine the number of dimensionless groups. So, let us consider a simple example of convective mass transfer into a dilute stream in a circular tube. So, the first step is to identify the variables pertaining to that particular problem. For this problem, these are the variables tube diameter which is symbolized as d and the unit is m and dimension is l. Similarly, fluid density, fluid viscosity, fluid velocity, mass diffusivity, mass transfer coefficient. So, these are the variables which incorporates the system geometry which is diameter and then fluid properties density viscosity and flow properties and the other primary quantities that is mass transfer coefficients. Now, if we take the fundamental dimensions m, l and t and make another table where the m will represents for all the exponent of the fundamental dimensions which is in case of Kc we have l and t, l 1 and t minus 1. So, l is 1 and t is minus 1 and the m is 0 in case of Kc. Similarly, we will obtain this table for velocity, density, viscosity, diffusivity and diameter. So, m we can represent all these variables in terms of fundamental dimensions. Then the exponent of these dimensions will form a matrix which is known as the dimensional matrix. So, this is our dimensional matrix and we have to find out the rank of this matrix. The rank of this matrix we can find out using MATLAB or some other program. For this case, the R is equal to rank of A 
which is 3. So, we can obtain I d the number of dimensionless group for a particular system will be the number of variables n is here is if we can go back we can see there are 6 number of variables we have considered for a particular system. So, n is 6 and rank of the matrix r is 3. So, i d is n minus r. So, it will be 6 minus 3 is equal to 3. So, there are 3 dimensionless group for this particular systems. Let us symbolize this uh, dimensionless group as pi 1, pi 2 and pi 3. So, step 4 the 3 dimensionless groups we represent pi 1, pi 2 and pi 3. Now, from the system we have to choose a core group of r variables in each pi groups. So, how to choose these core groups? The one way to choose these core groups to exclude the effect of a particular variables which we want to isolate. Say in this problem we want to isolate the mass transfer coefficient k c and also let us arbitrarily exclude other variables velocity and mu for the particular system. Velocity and viscosity of the fluid we can exclude as the variables which will not be included in the core group. So, the core group now consists of diffusivity, diameter and the density of the fluid. Now, we can write pi 1 is equal to d a b to the power a rho to the power b and d to the power c that is core group and we will include the other excluded variables that is k c and pi 2 is equal to d a b to the power d rho to the power e d to the power f and v and pi 3 d a b to the power g rho to the power h d to the power i and mu. These are the three groups we have identified. Now, from the dimensional form we can write m 0 l 0 t 0 is equal to 1 is equal to l square for pi 1 we can write l square t minus 1 to the power a m l to the power minus 3 to the power b and l to the power c l t minus 1. So, from this if we solve these equations we will have for l we will have 0 is equal to twice a minus 3 b plus c plus 1 and 0 for t 0 is equal to minus a minus 1 and for m 0 is equal to b. So, if we solve this 3 we will have a is equal to minus 1 b is equal to 0 and c is equal to 1. So, with this we can write pi 1 if we have obtained the power of these variables and if we put this pi 1 will be k c d divided by d a b and which is known as root number and it is analogous to heat transfer uh, the dimensionless group which is Nusselt number. For pi 2 we will do the similar analysis and we will obtain pi 2 
is V D divided by D A B which is equal to packlet number for mass transfer we have discussed earlier and for pi 3 also similar analysis will give you mu by rho d a b. So, which is Schmidt number. Now, if we divide pi 2 by pi 3, so it will give you v d by d a b into rho d a b by mu. So, which is v rho d by mu. So, which is known as Reynolds number. So, the dimensional analysis will give us pi 1 is a function of pi 2 and pi 3. That means, say root number we can write is function of Reynolds and Smith number which is in the form of phi function of which phi into R e to the power alpha and Smith number to the power beta alpha phi alpha beta are the dimensionless constant. So, this is analogous equations in heat transfer national number is equal to function of Reynolds number and Prandtl number. Similar correlations we can get for different systems. Let us consider few examples of correlations like this system range and correlation. laminar flow through a circular tube. If Reynolds number less than 2100, then root number is 1.62 Reynolds Smith d by l to the power 1 third turbulent flow through a tube, turbulent flow through a tube. If Reynolds number greater than equal to 4000 and less than equal to 60000 and Smith number greater than 0.6 and less than 3000. So, we have say root number is equal to 0 0.023, Reynolds number to the power 0 0.83 and Smith number to the power 0 0.33. Similarly, liquid flow through a liquid flow through packed bed. So, here Reynolds greater than equal to 3 and less than 10,000 is say root number is equal to 2 plus 1.1 Reynolds to the power 0 0.6 and Smith to the power 0 0.33. Let us consider one example a sphere of naphthalene of diameter 20 millimeter is suspended in a flowing air at 45 degree centigrade. The velocity of air is 1 meter per second. 
the diffusivity of naphthalene in air at 45 degree centigrade is given. Given that the density and viscosity of the air and sublimation pressure of naphthalene at 1 kilo Pascal and using this correlation calculate the mass transfer coefficient and flux of mass transfer. So, given the data we can calculate Reynolds number will be d v rho by mu which is equal to 0 0.02 into 1 into 1.2 divided by 1.9 into 10 to the power minus 5 which is 1 to 6 0 and Smith number also we can calculate mu by rho d a b which is equal to 1.9 10 to the power minus 5 divided by 1.2 into 6.9 10 to the power minus 6. So, it will be 2.29 and Serut number as the equations given we can calculate 2 plus 0.55 Reynolds to the power 0.53 and Smith to the power 0.33 substituting the data it will be 33.9. Now, we can write the diffusion, diffusion of A through non diffusing B. So, we can calculate say root number is equal to k g P B L M r t l divided by d a b p t and at 45 degree centigrade the vapor pressure is small. So, p t by p b l m is approximately 1 r is equal to 8.3066 meter cube kilo Pascal per k mole Kelvin. and T is 318 Kelvin. So, we can write say root number is given 33.9 is equal to k g into 8.3066 into 318 divided by 6.9 into 10 to the power minus 6. So, from this we can calculate k g is 8.855 10 to the power minus 8 k mole per meter square second kilo Pascal. Flux we can calculate Na is equal to k g P A 1 minus P A 2. So, P A 1 is given is 1 kilo Pascal and P A 2 can be considered approximately equal to 0. So, it will be 8.855 into 10 to the power minus 8 1 minus 0. So, it will be 8.855 into 10 to the power minus 8 k mole per meter square second. So, this is end of this lecture. Thank you. Mm -hmm.